It's incredible what you can tell just by listening to the rainforest. You're really taken by the loudness of it all, the cacophony of it, or even just the variety of noises such that there's some things you don't hear. Up to 90% of logging in the rainforest is illegal. And that illegal logging is a gateway activity to the wholesale destruction of the forest. Those roads that they cut in there to take out the prized lumber, that leads to people going in to burn down the areas and create agriculture. That all starts with illegal logging. And there's a mandate to stop illegal logging. But really the most important elements in this case that matter the most for protecting the forest are already there. There's people who would stop it, people who would actually fight off deforestation, and there's cell phone networks. With those two things, we can build a simple tool like this and it can actually make a big difference in fighting illegal logging and therefore stopping the deforestation that causes so much climate change for our planet. At Rainforest Connection, we've created the world's first real-time monitoring system for protecting the rainforest. We repurpose old cell phones to put them high in trees to listen to all the sounds of the forest and send real-time alerts when there's problems like chainsaws or logging trucks so that local rangers can get alerts and show up in real time to stop it. This all started when I actually went to visit the rainforests of Borneo in Indonesia and I noticed that uh, they were actually spending a lot of their resources trying to protect that area from illegal logging. Just five minutes walk from the ranger station uh, we came on some loggers who were cutting down a tree, and the rangers didn't even know about it, but for me this seems really unfair, that the sounds of the forest, how noisy it was, drowned out the sounds of chainsaws and made it hard for them to stop it. But I realized that a computer could actually pick up the sounds of uh, chainsaws pretty easily from the forest, even if it was so loud. And old cell phones were pretty great computers. They will last for so much longer than we expect them to, and they can do amazing things that people can't do. And so we repurpose them, and they become effective guardians of the forest. This is the Rainforest Guardian. There's a cell phone inside here that helps us listen to the forests to help prevent poaching and illegal logging in at-risk forests around the world. So these Guardian devices have to last for a long time in extreme conditions. These are the solar panels that we use in order to get the power to charge it. And we also connect up a larger microphone to the cell phone and we put it all inside this box, put a couple extra batteries. We close the box so that it doesn't get any water in it and then we can stick it up in the top of trees and let it sit there. Once we install one of these devices, the sound that we're estimating right now is between one to two kilometers in distance. The smartphone is gonna end up picking up the sounds of the forest 24 hours a day, seven days a week and then uplink it into the cloud. And once it arrives in the cloud, we analyze it for all sorts of things using a, a neural network, an AI that we built. We can pick out chainsaws, logging trucks, vehicles, motorcycles. So the moment that a vehicle rolls by or a chainsaw goes off, that sound is picked up by the phone, recognized by the cloud system, and SMS is sent within really just less than a couple minutes to the rangers and show up in real time and stop it before the damage is done. Because these guardians are placed in strategic locations, like on the edge of the perimeter, in valleys, on roads, it really makes it easy for the rangers to figure out where the loggers are trying to go. And they can get there soon enough uh, to stop them before the activity takes place. It was actually pretty amazing. In our first field test in Indonesia, on the second day we had this thing deployed, we picked up some chainsaws and they were able to show up within minutes and actually catch the loggers in the act. That early success really showed us that uh, a difference could be made. So even though there's actually less than 100 of these across the half a dozen countries where we're active, they're actually protecting thousands of square kilometers of forest just because they're put in places that matter the most. With all this amazing data, this audio coming out of the forest from so many places, it's an audio arc that saves and transmits all this information about the forest to the world. We also want to make it possible for people to access that, so we have this app that allows you to stream the live sounds of the forest from any of our locations. And I really think that opens up the possibility of people relating to what's happening out there, making it into a real place and increasing the chances of us protecting it.